Well, it's morning. Time to go and find some brekkie in this fancy glass elevator thing. I don't really want a 15 euro breakfast buffet where you just go and stuff yourself. Um, that's no good for riding for the day, so I think I'm going to go and find a um, cup of tea and, I don't know, some yoghurt or granola or something else like that from the cafe. Yes, the donkey pub's a bit quieter this morning. That place was packed last night, which is why I didn't go. International collector's item, really. Who on earth collects crap like that? Oh, but I do like the moose salt and pepper shaker. They're pretty good. And more trolls. And slippers, they look good. And tops. And, oh, well, she looks like she's been augmented. So we start to get our first views of Germany. So this will take us into Kiel Harbour, but it's quite a long run into there. It also gave me a chance to sneak into the lounge at the front of the boat and have a look too. Pretty good views. I'm glad the boat's quiet, uh, but there's still too many people for me. And poor old Wilbur's got too many motorbikes around him too, I think. Too much plastic. Anyway, Kiel, 45 minutes. Get off the boat and get back on the open road. Well, that's it, we've just been called to the car decks. We, he's just done a handbrake turn in the middle of Keel Harbour, which was pretty impressive on a boat this size. Um, spinning round on himself, and now we're going into the, the docking area, so we've been called down to the car decks. So it's time to get my bike gear on, get my boots and my jeans and stuff on. It looks like a nice day for riding. Um, hopefully we'll get out of customs and passport control or whatever else is going on at this side okay, and uh, get out of here. That's the plan. This is a nightmare being penned in on here. I'm just going to stay out the way till everybody else is off, I think. Social distancing, not here. Right, let's get out here on and get out of here. Why can't people just be patient? Instead of everybody at the back of here trying to get out first, dickheads. If they let me out because I'm the open buck, it would have been okay, but no. It's got a GS, it's going to be out before me. So while all this lot try and wheel around their enormous plastic machines that are far too big for them to handle and then load them up with all their enormous amounts of luggage and everything else, I decide I'm fed up of this, let's just fire at Wilbur and we'll just ride around them all. I've got sick of waiting for them. What a load of faffing on. So that's it, ferry journey number 18 is done and it's time to get Wilbur's wheels onto German soil. So we'll head around to the immigration and passport checks and hopefully we get through that without any Covid malarkey going on. And I was surprised, we rode up to the gates here and it was all closed. They just waved us straight through and we're right through onto the other side of the port, that's it. Didn't even check passports, ask where we'd been, absolutely nothing. Right, that's okay. Quick, let's get out of here before somebody comes and asks us some more questions. Well, that was easy. I was expecting customs and passports and Covid checks and everything. We just rode straight out. So I'll get my gloves on and stuff and uh, let's get on the autobahn. So plan A was to ride from Kiel to Hamburg, turn right and then just start heading west until we got through as far Holland as we could in the day. That plan went straight out the window because the traffic in Kiel was absolutely appalling. It took me ages to get through, but eventually we got signs to Hamburg and the Autobahn had cleared out a bit.
that bit of clear running autobahn didn't last long. When we got to the outskirts of Hamburg, look what we've got here. Yes, seven lanes of nothing but traffic jam. This was not looking good because I've got to get over the River Elbe and this is the only autobahn that runs that way. So I thought, right, I'm just going to have to filter this because I can't sit here all day and I know this goes down into a tunnel as well. And the last thing I want to do is get stuck in a tunnel in traffic with Wilbur. So that was it. I made the decision and I said, right, there's a junction here. I'm going to turn off and I'm just going to stick on the country roads and go through the edge of the town and at least I'm still moving instead of sitting in all of that. It seems lots of other people had the same plan, but at least we're making some progress, but these red traffic lights in the towns make it so difficult. Well, this has turned into a nightmare, hasn't it? So they've closed the tunnel through Hamburg. So I've got off the motorway because there was no point sitting there. And I'm gonna try and find the ferry, which I took last time and um, do that instead. There it is, I found it. What a nightmare. Like German cities and motorways like Kiel, that was just awful and uh, Hamburg is the same. And I used to fly into Hamburg airport every week and deal with this. What a nightmare. Let's get out of the city. Well, that traffic through Hamburg was impossible. They've closed the main tunnel. I think there's only two ways across that river there. Just a nightmare. Horrible. The traffic is horrible everywhere. So anyway, I'm, I've turned off the motorway. I had to get off it. Um, so I'm going to head north, um, slightly north and west. So we're sort of heading west and I'm going to get the ferry from uh, to Witchhaven, which is the ferry that we took on the way here. I was never intending on doing that, but that's my plan B. Um, it means we're moving, hopefully, unless we're sitting in all of this again, uh, and I can get myself away from Hamburg. Um, this, I mean, it's Saturday lunchtime now. It's just traffic hell. Anyway, we've just got to keep heading west. That's all I can do. So after fighting through miles and miles and miles of red traffic lights it started to open out a bit with the traffic and we turn left here and we're about one and a half kilometres from the ferry across the Elbe here and look what we've got here. That's the traffic jam for the ferry and the ferry is literally miles away. At this point there was no way I was going to sit in that queue. Just have a look at this and imagine how long the people at the back are going to have to wait considering the ferry only takes about 40 cars. Well here we are, I was certainly glad to be on Wilbur and jump that queue. Ferry crossing number 19 of this trip and a completely unexpected one. But that's it, we're on board, let's get across this river and get out of here. Well at last something went right, I hope you can hear me, it's very noisy. So from Kiel, I am now 95 kilometres from Kiel.
this is the problem once I'm across the Elbe I'm okay I've got lots of options well the only other option I had was to go all the way around the outside of Hamburg and that meant going east which is the wrong way so anyway we're here you saw the massive queue for the ferry that I've come past I mean you'll be there for hours if you're waiting um, that's one of the times I'm glad to be on Wilbur uh, we can just go straight to the front of the queue and they've got no problem with that uh, so that was well worth doing um, so there we are the traffic's appalling I don't know how Germany functions as a society with so many traffic lights um, the cities and the towns are just impossible to get through uh, it's just a horrible horrible last three hours so I'm hoping when we get on the other side it'll be a bit clearer the traffic and the road clothes are driving me insane So after that we're back on the road, we're off the ferry and you can see the traffic on the other side, that was no better and that was going to be queuing for ages as well. I'm glad we weren't going across this ferry again. Anyway, we headed off, the roads are a bit quieter going in this direction and it eases out a bit more, at least we can get some kilometres done now. Well, my original plan A to make it to Eymuden tonight, which was 577k from Kiel, that is so far out the window it's not funny. Um, I've done, what is it, half past five now, so I've been riding six hours and I think I've done about 250 kilometres. Uh, the average speed in Germany today has been a lot lower than anything I've ever done in Norway. Uh, German traffic, roadworks and road closures are appalling and you will have seen the queue for the ferry so obviously closing that tunnel in Hamburg has caused mayhem for the whole area there was at least a kilometre in each direction queuing for that ferry but I'm glad I knew about that ferry um, that helped me a lot uh, and obviously riding a motorbike I just rode straight to the front straight on the ferry and we're good so anyway I needed to stop, take stock, have a drink it's half five, I've got half an hour of riding. I would really like to get out of Germany. I don't want to wake up in the morning and have to put my, or Wilbur's wheels on another autobahn for a very long time. So I would like to make it at least to Holland. And I think the, the border is about 30K, so it's not far. There we are, I found three campsites within two or three K of each other around a lake. They are 64K from here. So it's going to take me to about quarter past six. Uh, but it gets me into Holland, so that's a good aiming point. At least I can get Germany out of the way today and not have to think about having to ride on autobahns and all the rest of the malarkey that Germany has. So anyway, that's it. 64k to the campsite. I've just got some ravioli from the petrol station here in a tin, tea in a tin. Um, we've got a couple of beers from last night. Um, I've got some chocolate for dessert. We've got some beer nuts. So I've got everything I need. I just need to be 64 k's down the road, let's go! There's a final goodbye or of we design from Germany. There was miles and miles of 40 kilometer roadworks, but there we are. That's the Dutch border, Netherlands. We don't need to go on autobahns again tomorrow. That's great, great, time to find the campsite.
That was a long day, but what a great campsite. And I wouldn't have known about this if we hadn't have had all the delays. So anyway, crack a beer, get the tent up, get out my bike gear, I think. Good stuff. Well, that's it. Tents up. Got pretty good at doing that now. We get it all up pretty quick. Um, it's due to rain between about 4 and 7 a.m. tomorrow. So that's just something we'll deal with. But, well, it's no big deal. Um, we'll be asleep. I'll just make sure Wilbur's distributor and that's covered up. So he'll be okay. So that's it. So we are at the camping. I've forgotten the name of it. Um, I'll stick it in the message here. And, well, what a great little spot. It's 12 euros for the night. That's a bargain. And free showers and stuff. So we're okay with that. Um, I've ordered some croissants for breakfast because I've run out of porridge. I had my last one last night. Um, and as you'll have seen earlier, this is what's for tea. It's, that'll do. That's a can of ravioli right there. And that is going in that pan. So anyway, I'm glad to be out of Germany and I don't see the need to be biking in Germany much more. Um, today was just an exercise in frustration. Um, I used to live down south in England and um, I left and moved north because I hate traffic and the aggressive driving and everything else that goes on and today I just got a big dose of that. Um, it makes me very glad to be able to tour places like Norway where you don't get that and to live where I do in Ingleton where also you don't get that. Tomorrow we've got 260k um, to Amsterdam so if things are okay that's three hours but I'll leave obviously a lot longer than that because I want to make sure that we're there with plenty of time and uh, we'll see how we go. So that's it, I'm going to sit here and heat this up and eat it and enjoy it, get sorted out and I think the service will be in the morning uh, and then we'll get going to Amsterdam. So that's it, we're at camp. Cheers everybody, I'm going to chill out for a bit now. So join us next time when we're back to checking spark plugs, but they're good. We enjoy a delicious Dutch breakfast, we're riding on empty Dutch motorways on smooth tarmac and making good progress. We enjoy a fine motorway services lunch. Nothing wrong with that. That was a good sausage roll. We get unwanted attention at the Dutch border, but it turns out the guards had just never seen a square four before. Wilbur gets on to ferry journey number 20 of this trip. Yes, 20 ferries this has been. And finally, we wave goodbye to Holland, and it's off to our short journey home from Newcastle. All that and more next time on Wilbur's Arctic Adventure.